what's up guys and welcome to a brand new video i'm ambassador zimmy and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to change your nat type on the xbox one before i start this video i just want to say that if you guys enjoy this video if you learn something new if this video helps you out please make sure to hit that like button and share this video with your friends if they're encountering the same problems also if you guys never want to miss out on any of my xbox tutorials game trailers or just general xbox news please make sure to hit that subscribe button now with that being said let's talk about why your nat type is important so there's three nat types that you can have on the xbox one there's open nat type which is perfect no problem you'll pretty much be able to play with anybody and talk to anybody and you'll be a host or chosen to be the host of a lot of your multiplayer matches there's moderate which basically means that you can play with a lot of people but there are some people that you can't play with specifically the people that have strict net types and you can sometimes be chosen as a host and then finally there is strict net type which is pretty much the worst of the worst uh, you can only play and talk with people that have open net type you'll never be chosen as a host and it's just really a big pain in the butt so let me go ahead and show you guys how to see what your nat type is you can do this by pressing the big lit up xbox button on your controller to get over here to the guide menu if you guys don't know where that button's at just hit left on your left analogs and you'll eventually get over here to the guide menu next we're then going to want to scroll down here to the little gear tab scroll over and select all settings once we're on all settings, we're going to want to highlight the network tab over here on the left and then scroll over and select network settings. So right here, there are three columns and the middle one underneath where it says current network status, you should see net type and then whatever your net type is, open, moderate, or strict. Now, if it says moderate or strict, you're definitely going to want to try to switch that to open just to basically make your multiplayer experience a lot better. So the first troubleshooting step that I would definitely tell you guys is just go ahead and hit the B button to back out of here, then click the guide menu, scroll all the way back down to settings, come over here and then click restart console. This is actually going to go ahead and restart your console and the difference between doing it this way and actually just pressing the power button on your your console is that whenever you press the power button on your console it usually just puts it into a screensaver or like a sleep mode and we want to fully restart the console so just go ahead and go to your settings and click restart console Whenever your console is restarted, then just go back to your settings page, go back, click on network settings, and if your net type is open, then congratulations, it worked. If it's not, then let's try this second troubleshooting step. So the second step is to then go down here to where it says advanced settings, go ahead and click on that, then scroll down to where it says alternate MAC address, click on that, and then click on clear and then go ahead and click on restart console because we're going to actually want to restart the console once again. Now, whenever your console is restarted, just come back here to the network page and check out your net type. If it's open, congratulations, it worked, everything's great, you can stop watching the video. If it didn't work and it still says moderate or strict, then let's try a third troubleshooting step. Now, this third troubleshooting step is to reset your modem, router, or gateway, or whatever you're using to get the internet into your house. Go ahead and reset it. There's gonna either be a button on the back of your modem or router, and all you have to do is just click that button. But the easiest way of just resetting your modem, the way that I always do it, is just unplug it from the power for about 30 seconds. Now, whenever you guys actually decide to unplug it from the power, let's just go ahead and do a full power cycle on your console you do this by pressing and holding the Xbox button on the console for about 10 seconds until the light turns off and then you unplug your console from the wall for about two minutes now once your console has been unplugged from the wall for about two minutes and your router has been unplugged for 30 seconds go ahead and plug back in your router let it fully reboot back up plug back in your Xbox turn it on come back to this network page and hopefully your net type is open now after all these troubleshooting steps if your net type is still set to moderate or strict I would definitely suggest that you call Xbox customer support or your internet provider whoever they are and just kind of talk to them and see what's going on uh, they should be able to investigate it even further especially Xbox they do a great job with their customer support and they should be able to narrow down and find out what your problem is 
And regardless to whatever they find to be the problem, your internet provider should be able to help you either do port forwarding, change some settings on your router, or just do whatever to help you get that open NAT type. Guys, that's pretty much gonna be it for this video. I hope this video really helped you guys out. If it does, please make sure to hit that like button and share this video with your friend if they're having the same issue. Also, if you guys never want to miss out on any of my Xbox tutorials, game trailers, or just general Xbox news, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if in this video, if I wasn't specific enough about anything, or if you call your internet provider and you call Xbox customer support and you're still having this issue or something like that, or you just have any other questions about any general Xbox topic, please make sure to put all of those questions down in the comment section below, and I will try to respond to those as quickly as I can. Like always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Peace out, guys.